<laughs> Good day. Before we discuss for loop, we will have a first recap kung ano ba yung while loop, do while loop, at for loop. So ito yung tatlong uri ng loops. Una is yung while loop na tinetest niya muna yung condition bago niya gawin yung line of code. Pangalawa is yung do while loop which is gagawin niya lagi once bago niya itest yung code. At yung code ng do while loop ay nasa loob ng do. And then last, which is yung topic ngayon is yung for loop na merong tatlong statement sa isang line. Which is in statement 1, statement 2, statement 3. So pansinin niyo mabuti yung structure. So usually, ito ang ginagawa sa for loop. Yung tatlong statement, yung statement 1 is the nagkakaroon ng variable. variable. The nag nagkakaroon ng initialization. And then yung statement 2, doon papasok si condition. And then statement 3, doon nilalagay si increment or decrement. So ito, meron tayong sample program para sa for loop. Nagawa na natin ito sa do while at sa while loop before. Ngayon naman, itetest natin siya dito. So ang gagawin lang ng code na to is magdi-display lang si program ng uh, 1 up to 5 na numbers. So yun, nagkaroon ng error kasi hindi natin na-save yung program. So the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kasi nga, tinitrace lang natin siya dito. Parang yung tracing lang din sa do while. If uh, initialize 1, int integer 1, meron tayo. And then, meron din tayong condition na i must be less than or equal to 5 and then i plus plus. Ganito ang structure ng for loop. Una muna, nag-declare ka ng variable. Meron kang i. Okay. And then, pagka-declare mo, titignan niya. Is i less than or equal to 5? True. So kapag i is less than or equal to 5, gagawin niya itong print. So magdi-display siya ng 1. Tsaka siya mag increment So ang pagbasa ng for loop is, ito mo ng initialization, statement 1, and then itong condition, statement 2, tapos yung block of code. Tapos pupunta siya sa statement 3 which is yung increment. So 1, 2, 3, for. Ganun ang basa sa for loop. So next, dahil nag-increment siya ng 1, current value ng i natin is 1. So is 1, nag-increment na siya dito, magiging 2. So is 2 less than or equal to 5, true. So gagawin niya pa rin to, which is ang current value ng i ay 2, so lalabas dito si 2. And then i++ plus plus magiging 3 i is equal to 3. Is 3 less than or equal to 5? True. So, gagawin nyo pa rin to. And then, i++ plus plus, magiging 4 si i, 4 less than or equal to 5, true pa din, i-display nyo pa rin si 4, and then i++ plus plus, 5, is 5 less than or equal to 5, true. So, i-display nyo ulit si 5. And then, tsaka nyo, uh, mag-increment ulit siya ng 6, and then itetest nyo ulit i less than or equal to 5, which is 6. False na, kaya hindi niya nagagawin. So that's how for loop works. Ang basa niya, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ganun ang basa ng for loop. Unlike sa while na dire-diretso, at yung do while na dire-diretso, ang for loop hindi. 1, 2, code, uh, code, and then yung increment. So ganun ang basa ng for loop. Another example ng for loop. Kung natin ito, so, kung mapapansin nyo, mas structured ang for loop kesa sa while at sa do while loop. It's because, mas better gamitin ang for loop compare sa while. So, during our sessions, the following sessions, magpo-focus tayo lagi sa for loop at sa do while loop. So, bihira natin gagamitin o baka hindi pa nga natin magamit ang while loop. So, ngayon ang for loop, tignan nyo ang structure. Sa for loop, i int is equal to i your integer i is equal to 0. Maraming na tayo doon. Binigler natin siya doon. And then, condition, i less than or equal to 10. Ngayon, pupunta siya dito sa code, sa baba, sa loob niya. If i modulo to equals equals to 0, is that true? Yes, that's true. 
ipiprint niya daw na i is even number. So, first output is 0 is an even number. And the next, mag increment siya. 1. So, uh, current value ng i is 1. 1 less than or equal to 10. True. So, gagawin niya ulit to. Pero dahil magpo-fall siya dito, hindi siya mag-display. And then, i plus plus. 2. So, i less than 2 is, equal, uh, is less than or equal to 10. True. If i modulo 2 equals equals 0, which is true, kasi nga even number si 2, so i-display niya naman ngayon si 2. Until mag-increment siya, hanggang marating niya yung 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So sabihin natin, i is 9 na. 9 less than or equal to 10, true. And then i modulo 2 equals equals 0. Ang i is natin is 9 magiging false kasi 9 is not an even number. So, itong condition to is like testing for even numbers, right? Ilang beses na natin ginawa yun. False. So, i++, plus plus, ang current value ng, 10, ng i is 10. So, 10 less than or equal to 10, true. If 10 modulo 2 is equal, equal to 0, which is true, i-output na ulit. So, magiging output na dito is lahat ng even numbers. 4, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Diba? So, that's how it works. Compare nyo tong code na to sa code ng pag-display ng while at do while sa even number. Compare nyo lang na ganun. This is so, so much shorter than while and do while loop. Excuse me. Now, let's test the output. The output is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Same doon. So, in lang ang pinagkaiba ng 4 sa do at while loops.